Street Fighter 6 is finally here, almost seven years since the release of the last game. And while we've got a while to wait before it releases next year, there's a lot of new details to work through. Have you seen the World Tour mode or the new characters? We've got story details, multiplayer stuff and loads more to talk about. So let's see what the series is doing with its debut on new gen consoles. The only official release date for Street Fighter 6 so far is 2023. However, we have theories based on what Capcom has done before. In years gone by, Street Fighter 4 and 5 both released in February. Capcom also tends to like a double whammy of big hitter releases at the start of the year. And with Resident Evil 4 Remake scheduled for March, it does suggest that Street Fighter 6 could be kicking its way out in February once again. Street Fighter V was a firm Sony console exclusive to the upset of fans. Well, on any other platform at least. However, this time around, Capcom has confirmed that Street Fighter VI will be available on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Don't worry, Street Fighter VI crossplay is happening. This is, of course, a big deal to ensure a decent sized and consistent player base. So that's good news all round and should make it a lot easier to find an online opponent. However, what with loading differences between all the different platforms and differences in netcode and connection stability, it remains to be seen whether it's possible to filter by system. The good news is that Street Fighter will have rollback netcode. This is something that's crucial to a fighting game to make sure the online experience is responsive and with minimal latency, whatever region your opponent is fighting from. It's almost a mandatory feature in 2022, and some recent fighting games have seen their competitive scene and community drop off very quickly simply because they weren't using it. So it's good to see it as a priority for this installment. Obviously, at this point, we don't know for certain what characters are in Street Fighter beyond Ryu, Luke, Chun-Li and Guile, and two newcomers, Jamie and Kimberly. However, if a leaked roster is to be believed, there's a total of 22 characters on the way. Whether they are part of the initial launch lineup is another question, however. Some might be intended for later DLC. So, ignoring the confirmed characters we've already mentioned, the Street Fighter VI leaked roster currently includes the following returning characters that you can see on your screen. Then, joining Jamie and Kimberly on the new character front, there's also the following. But as we said, this is a leak, so let's take it all with a pinch of salt. After nearly 25 years, the Street Fighter storyline has finally progressed past the events of 1999's Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. This means a lot of things like no M. Bison, and characters like Guile and Chun-Li no longer have their main motivations for fighting, so expect some new takes on classic characters. It's also highly likely we'll see a lot of the Street Fighter 3 roster of misfits eventually returning, with hints at characters like Hugo in the reveal trailer. Capcom has confirmed there are three separate Street Fighter 6 game modes. First up is the Fighting Ground, which appears to be all traditional stuff where you can play local multiplayer and fight AI opponents. Capcom has stated that all of the modes found in Street Fighter 5 can now be found in the Fighting Ground, so expect the arcade ladders, survival modes and training modes in here too. Then there's Battle Hub. We've only seen one short clip, but it appears to be a kind of online lobby where you can explore with a custom avatar, sitting down at arcade machines, and challenging other players to matches. If this is the case, it will be similar to the lobbies found in games like Arc System Works, most famous for games like Guilty Gear. There's a few other things that catch the eye though, like classic Capcom fighting games on some of the cabinets. Can they be played, we wonder? And finally, there's the big one, World Tour Mode, which appears to be an open world hub based on Metro City, the setting for the arcade classic Final Fight. Here, you can explore and meet characters from Street Fighter, punch bins, and pick fights with the inhabitants. Again, little is known about this mode right now, but it is described by Capcom as an immersive single-player mode, and looks quite unlike anything from previous Street Fighter titles. And unlike the Battle Hub, it also appears to feature a custom character. So, what are you most excited about for Street Fighter 6, and who is your main? Let us know in the comments below.